Um, I think the biggest challenge I've faced thus far and I still am facing is having complete and full confidence within myself. I feel like I'm always doubting myself, you know, should I wear this or I don't think I'm gonna look good in that or maybe I should put on a jacket just in case or tie this around my waist just in case. Um, just my confidence is not where I want it to be. Um, but that's I think challenges that I faced, I wouldn't say they were like typical challenges. I know a lot of people have went through like bullying and things like that. I was homeschooled so I didn't go through that. But I would say I went through a lot of self-bullying. Um, I would often times tell myself I couldn't do certain things or wear certain things or act certain ways because I didn't want to draw too much attention to myself because you know my whole thing was trying to draw attention away from my size and how big I was and so I think a lot of the times it was me putting myself down and not letting myself you know reach my full potential well I can say at San Jose State um, just walking around is kind of different because like I have big thighs so people you know people tend to go towards what you know what you're working with so I have a lot of thighs so people thighs tend to go down to my thighs so they like rub as they walk like I love it but a lot of people do look at that and it kind of it makes me uneasy sometimes but like then again I'm just like what you looking at these ones that I've heard is that we're sloppy we're lazy we don't take care of ourselves we stink I think honestly the one that gets to me the most is that men only like us for a fetish or that we date whoever we can get that we just aren't valid you know compared to other girls we just aren't we don't compare in any way we are our own breed that only some people like and you'd be lucky if they like you i'm always asking myself well does he even like big girls does he even like you know would he like me you know is he even giving me a, even a look you know has he just looked past me to look at someone else I think that big or plus size women are easy or like a stereotype that uh that i've seen and i've got over that because people love me how many can i name okay uh one is that we're lazy two is that we stink three is like we should be grateful at the fact that anybody gives us any time or attention um, four is that we do we do nothing but sit at home and eat, which is absolutely false. Let me tell you right now, it's absolutely false. Granted, when I want to watch Scandal, I do like to have a nice snack, but other than that, you know what I'm saying? That is not true at all. It's like, not true either. If we're really going to talk about it, we don't have enough outlets for us, so we do the best that we can with what we have. Well, I've been almost the same size my whole life and had all the same problem areas, so I mean, from back in the day, I really didn't embrace it, but now I am because I am full figured and loving it and laughing at it too. <laughs> but yeah, my perception has changed because it's a positive view now. But I am healthy, but I'm still deep. <laughs> Younger, my perception was shaped by my mother and my grandmother. They would oftentimes tell me, oh, you can't do this as a big girl, or you can't wear this as a big girl. You know, you have to be classier than everybody else because know if you do this you're automatically seen as sloppy and that's obviously not true um, we should be able to wear what we want to wear and do what we want to do confidence has definitely grown as I've gotten older and seeing other people like myself thriving and doing great modeling and you know having their own fashion lines or wearing whatever they want to wear and looking bomb in it and that has truly helped me grow as a person because I'm like if they can do it I can most definitely do it my name is Nicole Bryce and an adjective that I would use to describe myself is caring my name is Lauren Ford Wilson and an adjective that I would use to describe myself is ambitious my name is Nene and an adjective I would use to describe myself would probably be fearless this for this documentary would be uh, to help fellow girls like myself younger older just to realize that they're not alone to realize that we all go through the same thing, um, to kind of give them an outlet to know that um, their struggles do not define them, and that uh, you know we all understand. You know I understand. You know my friends understand, and I would just hope that you know after watching something like this, after or after reviewing my blog, that you know they kind of get enlightened to feel more comfortable about themselves to kind of explore 
the whole world of self-love and self-acceptance and just to get to a better place like your size does not define you at the end of the day regardless of what people tell you it does not define you you are a beautiful 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 queen and you should always see yourself as such so if that's anything I would want for people to take from this or from my blog um, which is jazzmistercamblog.wordpress.com um, it's just to understand that plus size women are exactly that women who are deserving to be respected and loved and cared for it just like anybody else and if no one else does I do. My name is Jasmine Stracan and an adjective that I associate with myself would be bubbly. <laughs>